People want a still, a still gourmet experience that not only fills their stomach but also allows them to have some semblance of, of an entertainment kind of an experience, but they want to do it for less money. I think chefs love to do these concepts because it's how we like to eat our food. We just want the food to taste as great as it can be. Thank you. See you later. See ya. We're doing everything from, from whole ingredients. We buy whole pieces of beef and we cut them and grind them in-house. So the beef is as fresh as you can possibly get it. Medium rare, that's, that's tastier too. Charburger mid-rare, cheese. We use an old-fashioned uh, milkshake machine that spins at a slower rate and you get a denser, creamier shake as a result. Best burgers I've ever had, best fries I've ever had, best shakes I've ever had. That's all I'm interested in, in those people saying. Two four ounce grilled singles. Cheese on that? Ultimately, it's all about the food. So Amber, you say that everything at Edzo's is excellent. Tell us why you chose it. Totally. Well, I, um, I'm on campus at Northwestern, so this is within walking distance for me, and it's the best food in Evanston. Um, their burgers are amazing, and their fries, and their milkshakes. So every time I go, I have to get all three. I cannot walk out of there without, like, all three. Um, I love the char burgers there because they're big and juicy, and I o always order my medium rare, so it can get a little bit messy, but it's totally worth it. So they offer two different versions of the burger. So you can yes. do like the griddle burger, the skinny kind, or you can do the big juicy burger. Now you like the big juicy burger. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, any preference which way you go there? I'm with Amber. I went for the char burger without even thinking twice about it. I like my burgers big and thick. My and it's eight ounces. Eight ounces compared to the four ounces for the griddle burger. I got mine with uh, bacon on it and a fried egg. Uh, the bacon was crispy, it was plentiful. Uh, the fried egg was just fantastic. You take that first bite into it, the yolk is dripping down your hands on your face. I'm not sure the people at the table over for me love to watch, but I was in heaven. Well, you can also add things onto it. In addition, you can upgrade your meat, you know, and we're talking about not a lot of burger places. It's, that's the meat you get, but you can upgrade to Schlegel Farms, Dietzler Farms, you know, some local farms there. So you can take it to the next level. That's right. At the end of the day, I went for just the normal greasy, delicious beef, uh, and it was, it was fantastic. But I, I would love to, to go back and maybe mix and match a little bit and uh, see what else they got. So Reggie, what did you think? It was okay. I, uh, I had the, uh, the double grill burger. Mm -hmm. and, that's a uh, big burger. Yeah, actually. it's a very big burger. Yeah. It's very juicy. I had my medium well, and I had the angry fries, and I had an order of uh, regular fries. Do the uh, angry fries make you happy? Oh, they made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the name. You know, a little spicy, a little too spicy for my... Uh, my taste buds, but the uh, the shake was spot on. It was excellent. We had the uh, toasted almond shake, and it was very good. I mean, I was able to taste the, the almonds as they came through the straw, and you had the little overage that you can actually pour into oh, yeah. the shake. That was always good, you know. It's a pretty good, nice place. It's a local place, and uh, I can see where the uh, locals, you know, hang out there. So it sounds like you enjoyed your burger, but you weren't like, oh, my gosh. I enjoyed it. the burger. Yeah. Uh, it's a burger. I, I, I would go back if I was in the, the Evanston area, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't make the trek okay. from Westchester back up there if I didn't have business to attend to up there. All right. So, Amber, uh, construct the perfect Edzo's burger for us. What would you put on it? Okay. Um, well, I would get their market burger on a weekend if he has it because that's when Eddie will go out to the farmer's market and get whatever awesome ingredients there are there. And that is only when there's a farmer's market available, so kind of like from spring to like early fall. Otherwise, I like topping my burger with fried egg, maybe some, you know, different types of cheese that they have. Always... You can, build a, you can build your own burger yes, there. Yes, you can. You yeah. can have, you know, mushrooms, onions, mm -hmm. bacon, anything you want. Um, the fries, they're hand cut every day. So, and he has so many different flavors. So, you know, if you like spicy fries or you like a lot of, like, gravy or cheese, he has all that. But my favorite are the garlic fries. Um, I get them every time. The only time I would say maybe don't get them is if you're on a date <laughs> or on something that might be construed as a date. Maybe not. Um, and then their milkshakes. He has his $5 milkshakes, which are really only $4, so you always feel like you're getting a deal when you <laughs> buy it. Um, and he has a lot of different flavors. The Nutella is a favorite, um, but I also like his seasonal flavors. 
like this summer he had a strawberry milkshake that was really good and this last time I went he had blackberry which is really excellent as well. My girlfriend had the brilliant idea of combining banana and Nutella. I recommend it for anybody who goes there. It was fantastic. I love Nutella. Yeah, I think it's Nutella, dangerous. Nutella is probably their best seller. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> but, but what I loved about it is that there were globs of Nutella still intact, pieces of yeah. banana still intact, and it was just uh, a yeah. really top-notch milkshake. So Amber, who nice. do you take? Or do you take your like classmates? Do you take your parents? Honestly, I have gone there with so many people. I go there with friends. I've gone there with my parents. I've gone there with professors. I've gone there on dates. You know, so you can go there with anyone. But not dates on with professors. Mm, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I think it's, it's great for everyone, you know. Obviously not something fancy, but a great casual place. We showed up on a Sunday at about 12 o'clock, and people were bringing their bottles of wine in there. <laughs> I was impressed by that, and, you know, that meant that people were not watching the Bears game. So, so. that means that's a nice trade-off. They, they, they prefer a great burger and wine to uh, the Bears game. Yeah, so let's talk about Ed for a second, because this restaurant reminds me so much of another restaurant we did, specialty place that we did, Hot Ducks. And that is, Ed is very much, you know, in the same way as mm -hmm. Doug Stone, meaning I'm going to only be open for a certain number of hours. I want to keep my family alive. But it's almost like there's a philosophy and a culture. So, Adam, tell me, what do you think that philosophy and culture is? Absolutely. I mean, just learning a little bit about this restaurant, you can't quibble with this, with this guy's uh, credentials. He's worked in, in a number of big-time uh, kitchens. And he just decided that he wanted to be done at 4 o'clock every day, cook something that he enjoys cooking, something that he's good at cooking, and go back, have dinner with his family at night, which I think is, in a lot of ways, very respectable. So, Amber, you pick Ezzo, sum it up for us. For a burger purist, Ezzo's is as good as it gets. But just remember to save room for fries and milkshakes. Adam. Uh, Edzo's is a simple idea, a burger and shake joint, just perfect execution. All right, and Reggie? Spot on burgers, uh, great atmosphere, and BYOB. <laughs> All right, <laughs> well, you can try the burgers, the fries, and much more at Edzo's Burger Shop, 1571 Sherman Avenue, 847-864-3396. They're open every day except Monday for lunch. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tap per person is $10.